All right, let's come on, guys. I'll just spare this in my room. All right, so uh, what's going on? I just wanted to do. Can I get some better lighting in here? My God. Well, an update on a uh, green tree python. We got. God, I can't see anything in here. Hold on. There's terrible lighting in this room. But uh, basically, we got him a new cage, and um, I'll go ahead and show you it. That's right. There. You can see that right there. So you can see basically what it is is it's a um it's a zoom ed cage. And um you can see him back there, the green tree python up in his own perch. See you can, that was his old cage there on the ground. Let's go ahead and show you just kind of some of the features of this puppy. Okay, this is backwards for me, so I gotta like move it around weird. But you can see the snake there. It's uh, 18 and three fourths inches tall, 12 and a half inches, you know, wide, whatever. And then you know, vice versa. I have that cool little lamp right there, and yeah, and then a little dripper at the top. Um, you guys can see that. And I'll take some pictures of it and get a little thing on. It's 86 degrees right now. I have a heat pad underneath there. And then a heat pad on the side. And like I said, that lamp up here, I just kind of have clamps right there. So that's kind of nice to have. Just stand back a little. Really cool. I um, got some of that Exoterra jungle vine stuff. And um, it, I just taped it onto the side. I don't know if you can really see that very well. Hmm? Yeah. Let's turn off this light so you guys can kind of see this a little bit better. Let's see if you can see the snake better. Oh, it just makes a bad glare. Kind of. I just had to turn off the screen there. But. But yeah, you guys can probably see that. Screen turns off, you can probably see now. But yeah, it's kind of a nice setup. Turn back on this light. Look how quickly the temperature changes when I just turn this off. It's already back down to 85. It's nuts. Yeah, but I like this. Like, uh, what ended up actually happening was I, I ordered one on off of eBay and it uh the uh it actually like um the truck like holding it um the FedEx truck holding it um like exploded it just like kind of lit on fire so I don't know uh kind of sucks but, um yeah I don't know why I have this in here. Oh yeah, I was cutting my laces. It's kind of fun to do that. But um, oh yeah, and the tape. I don't know. I use this tape to do it all, and it uh, it works well. It's just I I made sure you don't want any of the sticky parts showing or like uh, like bottom. You want to make sure it's completely covered up so that you know the snake can't get itself hurt on the thing there. The or like you know by sticking on. Oh yeah, another thing that I just really hate about these vines is like, I don't know if you can really see that very well, but there are like little black particles everywhere at the bottom of the cage. It's just really pissy, but whatever. That's kind of alright. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird angle, but here we'll show you. I'll show you. That just kind of pops open like so. Opens up and I have easy access in and out. I like this one. I don't know. He hasn't ever, he hasn't, he or she, whatever you want to say, hasn't used it yet, but I wrap the bamboo with it, put it right back there, and then I just kind of wrap some more bamboo right here for him to climb up on, 
I think I'm actually going to make this perch kind of taped onto the wall right there a little bit higher up so it'll be more towards the front of the cage and he'll be able to enjoy that more so. Never a good sound. Oh, never mind. It's actually quite all right. This is dripping too much now. I don't want any more drippage. We're done with the humidity today. The humidity is really, really low right now, but I got the this cage nice and humid. So that's pretty much it for right now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the new setup. And, um, I like it. I know that much. Um, I'm just using paper towels as the bedding, of course. I never use anything else. Just a personal choice. I don't know. It's easier to clean up. Especially since on this cage, nothing is touching the ground. So all I have to do is just kind of pick it all up. Because I made, I kind of like configured it so that nothing would you know, be able to touch on the bottom, except for like a few leaves that are just kind of hanging down. They're not real, but my sister's crazy. Yeah, that's about it. Um, sniper's belly's getting better, and uh, yeah, everybody's doing well. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and um, I'll have more about it soon. Alrighty then, talk to you guys soon.